and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to be riding the lyric graffiti and I want to check the accuracy of the speedometer to see how accurate it is so I've got on my phone here I don't have a phone mount unfortunately on the bike so I have to keep it in my pocket and hopefully this works and I had a walking speed of three miles per hour to get the bike over here so we're going to do a speed test and see uh, how accurate it is with the LCD display and what I'm going to do is adjust it it may have to be adjusted the wheel size to uh, calibrate um, I had to do that before on the on the Grizzly to get uh, it accurate I had to change the wheel setting to I had to change the wheel setting to 22 inches and then it was accurate within I think three tenths of a mile per hour it was really accurate so but you know I haven't checked it anymore since I changed tires and put the E Huntsman. I don't think it would make a whole lot of a deal, but it may make a little bit. I don't know. I went in here as well to the display and changed the, a little bit of the pedal assist. You can change the levels for how much assist percentage you want. So I changed the uh, settings on a few, and number nine here, I put it to 100%. So I don't know if that's gonna affect my speed. It was at 90 something, I can't remember. It might have been 96 or 98 anyway, so I don't think it's gonna make a whole lot of difference, but I wanna get out here and try a bit of a speed test. The speed limit right here is 25, but I'm gonna try to get out somewhere where there's no cars coming and do a quick shot. The uh, setting right now for the wheel um, size is right now they have it set at 24 inches. That's a factory setting. So I may have to change it like I say to 22, but I wanted to see how accurate it is. So I'll do a little race down the street coming up. So right here I can do a little bit, but there's a stop sign not far away there. So, let's see what we get here. Between here and the stop sign, I might be able to... Well, there I got it up to 35 miles an hour, but I'm gonna check the... Uh, Check the phone. Turn, okay. Turn back on. Okay, so 35 miles an hour. Let's just see if the phone worked in my pocket. What kind of a reading I got. It did not work. So, let's try it again. It showed the distance showed maximum speed three miles per hour it says we went 0.53 miles so let me try it again okay so let's i'm just going to go with the one battery here on the front Okay, for some reason, try this. For 
some reason the bike cut out. Let me see what's going on. Not sure what's going on. I tried to get really close to that stop sign before I put on the uh, the brake to stop and now for some reason the bike doesn't want to go at all well we'll give it a second here I couldn't have overheated that quickly Looks like I'm gonna pedal it a little bit. So, not sure what's going on. So I'm in pedal mode. And let's see. Well, not sure what's going on. But at least I can pedal it on. to give it a bit of a cooling down if that was what happened but that's kind of weird okay, I'm gonna see up here try it again turning it on I don't know what's going on the batteries are completely full I mean, the only thing I really did was I got it up to about 35, according to the display, and then 
because I was getting close to the, to the stops and I tried to get as fast as I could before I got there and then I had to stop. And that's when, uh, after I got past the stop, when I didn't have any more power, I shut it off and then the power didn't come back. Let's just go over here and try it again. Powers up, but there's no power. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, there it goes again. Well, that was weird. It must have just got hot. All right. I'm going to try to, again, whoa, I don't think that person even saw me. And they just decided to dart right out. And I wasn't going very fast at all, luckily. I thought they were going to see me and stop. This has been a weird ride. Not sure what else can happen. Okay. And change the assist level to nine. Okay, let's see what happens here. They cut out again. I mean, the only thing I did was change a few of the pedal assist level, the percentages, and on level 9, which I'm at now, I changed it to 100%. It was at 96 or 98, and I went right to 100. But that's the only thing I really did. And then it cut out again, so I'm not sure. I wanted to check on my phone it still didn't get a read on speed okay well that's weird but anyway this has been a weird video I might have to hold the phone and do it but now the bike has stopped again, so I have to... I'm not sure if it's just the fact that I changed the pedal assist to 100% on assist level 9, if I should change that back to 96 or 98, or... You wouldn't think that would affect it that much, but... Give it a minute here and try it again. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting this. I was just going to come out and test that speedometer to see how accurate. It is. There we go. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. It's only assisting me in three levels because I turned off I think the uh, extra levels that's probably what's happening so anyway I'm going to uh, I'm not going to worry about going full speed but I'm going to test the accuracy up to say 20 25 miles an hour just to see how accurate it is let me bring back up my speedometer I can find it again, it's right there. 
And of course we got an ad in my way. I don't want that. Try this again here. Might get off the street just in case somebody comes. I'm at a stop sign. Okay. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.